सो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल वेलकम टू सकल विद्या यूट्यूब चैनल सो नाउ स्टिल जॉइनिंग तबसुम नेक्स्ट सुधा मामेश्वरी लक्ष्मी हर्षिता मधुरिमा भारती सुनीता वेंकटेश्वर लू स्वाति सिंह गोपश्री हरे कृष्णा ज्योति आकांक्षा शोभा स्टिल जॉइनिंग चिंटू विष्णु लावण्य लोकेश प्रीति हरिचंद्र प्रसाद महि महेश ओके सुवन सगीन कल्याण चैतन्य संपत कुमार ओके हाय गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल रेहमन बालकोटी राइट हरिनारायण अंबिका अंबिका नॉट शोभा यू आर अंबिका आई कुड रिमेम्बर नाउ ओके रेहमान हाय रेहमान हाय हाय सुषमा लक्ष्मी प्रिया लक्ष्मी प्रिया ओके शिव भास्कर नायडू यू आर ऑल्सो रेग्युलर लक्ष्मी सुमंत शिव भास्कर नायडू गिव मी एनी बुक नेम सर ओके टुडे आई विल गिव इट आकाश चंदना यस वेलकम ज्योति चिंटु रामकृष्ण भारती थैंक यू थैंक यू भारती थैंक यू संजराणी अब्दुल रहमान ओके लक्ष्मी नायडू सुमंत ओके let us start the problems now audible trigonometric functions just i'm checking so getting all, all of you what about my voice okay right thank you first problem first problem the principal value the principal value of sin inverse sin 2 pi by 3 this is the question first option 2 pi by 3 second option minus 2 pi by 3 third option is pi by 3 fourth option is 4 pi by 3 okay this is the question thank you thank you okay so now the principal value of sin inverse of sin 
2 pi by 3 we need to find out. So, we have the formula sin inverse of sin theta equals to theta for every theta belongs to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. So, yesterday already we have studied this formula understood now. So, that means we need to check this 2 pi by 3 see 2 pi by 3 equals to pi by 3 is 16 to 2 120 degrees, but 120 degrees does not belongs to this interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 that is why we should not write direct answer. So, now we need to change 2 pi by 3 solution now see this is sin inverse this sin of so this we can write like this pi minus pi by 3 sin 180 minus theta second quadrant only the pi by 3 is 60 degrees so we have one more formula you know down here sin 180 degrees minus theta we have sin theta okay so this sin 180 degrees minus theta we can write sin inverse of sin pi by 3 now check it this pi by 3 is means 60 degrees 60 degrees lies in this interval so that's why now we can apply theta here theta is equal to pi by 3 so this equal to pi by 3 so uh, third option is I have written wrong please change the third option third option is pi by 3 so now third option is the right option hope you have followed. So, now okay. so option 3 yes correct thank you thank you. So, once again any new viewers are there please subscribe first of all so that you will get the notifications every day I am actually I have been actually uh, giving the instructions to you ok thank you thank you. Now the second one second one. sin inverse of cos inverse 3 by 5 equals to first option is 5 by 4 second option 4 by 5 <coughs> third option 3 by 5, fourth option is 5 by 3. So, this is the question. See, this is the question sin of cos inverse 3 by 5. Please uh, correct the question. This is the correct question now. Uh, Bobby, you may be new, do not worry, first subscribe. Oh, Behera, okay, joined, no problem, no problem. Sin of cos inverse 3 by 5. 
So, now see this question sin of cos inverse 3 by 5 means let us say the cos inverse 3 by 5 is equal to theta that means we need to find out theta value itself only. So, that means first let us say this cos inverse 3 by 5 is an angle you remember it is not a number. So, you can say theta now the cos theta is equal to we can write 3 by 5. Now, the given expression becomes the given expression becomes sin of we have cos inverse 3 by 5. So, instead of cos inverse 3 by 5 substitute theta sin theta sin theta is equal to we have the formula from trigonometric ratios that is 1 minus cos square theta under root we can write it. So, now the cos theta is equal to 3 by 5 replace it. So, you get 1 minus 9 by 16 correct sorry uh, wait wait now. Nine by twenty-five, three by five whole square. This will be twenty-five minus nine, sixteen by twenty-five. So root again root. This will be four by five. Or cos theta is equal to three by five. Simultaneously, directly we can write four by five also by taking triangle also. No problem. Sir, you told that from today classes timings will be changed no 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 so that will not be changed so understood now now third problem third problem cot inverse of 2 plus root 3 equals to first option is pi by 12, second option is pi by 15, third option is pi by 5, fourth option is 3 pi by 10 ok. Now, the cot inverse 2 plus root 3 equals to. So, that means actually first we need to we need to know yes Ramachandra Rasgaru by taking right angle triangle also we can solve that option right because I do not have the geometric tools. So, I did not apply that one ok by taking right angle triangle that will be very simple or sin theta is equal to 3 by 5 means obviously cos theta becomes 4 by 5 that is all ok thank you thank you sir can you tell tuition to me please uh, now ok. So, what is the plan means actually here 2 plus 3 value first 2 plus root 3 this 2 plus root 3 is equal to cot 15 degrees again I repeat this also equal to tan 75 degrees. So, now the given expression we can write like this cot inverse of this is instead of 2 plus root 3 we can write cot 15 degrees cot 15 degrees. So, we have the formula see already studied let me check once again also see right this must be in between theta must be 0 to pi. So, that is why we can write this one concept cot inverse of cot theta we can write equal to theta for every theta belongs to 0 comma pi. So, 15 lies in between 0 to comma pi. So, that is why we can write 15 degrees we need to change into radians 
15 degrees means am I correct now pi by 12. So, first option is the right option. Now, the fourth question, fourth question cos inverse root 5 minus 1 by 4 equals to first option 3 pi by 10. So, Vijay Kumar actually today you joined uh, late I think so, okay, Sreyana, uh, good morning Sreyana, 3 pi by 10, second 2 pi by 5, third is pi by 5, pi by 5. Fourth one is pi by fifteen. This is the question. Option two. How is the option two? Gopasri. Okay, now so let us come to this question now. Cos inverse of root five minus one by four. Then we need to find out. Here, see the root five minus one by four is equal to sine eighteen degrees which is also equal to cos 72 degrees. As we have cos inverse, we need to consider cos 72 degrees. Now, the given expression becomes cos inverse of, so cos of 72 degrees. 72 degrees means uh, 36 into 2, 5 by 5 is 36. So, that means 2 pi by 5 because this also equal to cos 2 pi by 5 in radians. Am I correct now? And one more thing we need to remember the cos inverse of cos theta equals to theta for every theta belongs to 0 comma pi. So, that is why this 72 comes under this interval this 72 degrees belongs to this interval. So, that directly we can write 2 by 5, 2 pi by 5. So, second option is the right option. Money actually uh, 54 degrees is uh, cos 54 sin 50 cos 54 degrees is root 5 plus 1 by 4. So, just check it. Okay. So, 
so next question is fifth one sin inverse root 3 by 2 minus tan inverse minus root 3 equals to first option minus pi by 3 second option 2 pi by 3 third one is pi by 6 fourth option is 0 just check it now so now sin inverse root 3 by 2 minus tan inverse of minus root 3 here actually the sin inverse of root 3 by 2 means the whose sin equal to root 3 by 2 we need to remember that means instead of root 3 by 2 we can write sin 60 degrees so next tan inverse of minus root 3 means we need to recall the formula tan inverse of minus x so first actually so let us recall these values see root 3 by 2 equals to we have sin 60 degrees pi by 3 okay next one more formula we need to recall tan inverse of minus x is equal to minus tan inverse x this we need to recall and one more thing we need to recall root 3 is equal to tan 60 degrees pi by 3 you remember these concepts with the help of these concepts now this problem can be solved now the given expression can be written as sin inverse root 3 by 2 this is so as tan inverse minus x is minus tan inverse x tan inverse of minus root 3 is equal to minus minus into minus plus tan inverse root 3 so instead of this sin inverse root 3 by 2 you can write uh, sin inverse of sin pi by 3 plus this we can write tan inverse of tan pi by 3 actually these are in the within the domains only that is why pi by 3 plus pi by 3 pi by 3 plus pi by 3 equals to 2 pi by 3 so that means second option is the right option right option 2 Yes, thank you Jaitra. Yes, you need to give the so guidance to the all our viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> now the sixth problem cos of sin inverse minus 4 by 5 minus cos inverse 4 by 5 so equals to first option pi by 2 second option minus pi by 2 third option is 0 fourth option pi this is the question so before going to the uh, attempt the problem 
so we need to have the some prior uh, plan so what is the plan means actually if you observe the problem here actually we have sin inverse of minus 4 by 5 sin inverse of minus x formula need to be recalled and one more thing here this will be minus minus if you take common sin inverse 4 by 5 plus cos inverse 4 by 5 that seems to be rather sin inverse x plus cos inverse x whose value is pi by 2. So, these all need to be taken into consideration before going to attempt the problem. So, that means now here first formula we need to remember sin inverse of minus x. So, that is minus sin inverse x you can check the previous your notes. Next one more thing we need to take the help sin inverse x plus cos inverse x sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. So, we need to remember these concepts. So, now the given expression we can write given expression we can write cos of the sin inverse of minus 4 by 5 you can write minus sin inverse 4 by 5 and minus cos inverse of 4 by 5. So, no problem within the brackets itself only let us take out minus common. So, if we take minus common cos of minus common we get sin inverse of 4 by 5 plus cos inverse of 4 by 5. Okay. So, is it seems to be rather this formula. So, now we can write cos of minus pi by 2 cos of minus theta is plus cos theta. So, that is cos of pi by 2 cos 90 degrees equals to 0. So, that means third option is the right option understood. Uh, yes, cos of a plus b Samir Khan, but actually it is a very lengthy, it will be easy. Okay. Okay, let us move to the next question, seventh one. secant square cot inverse 1 by 2. Okay, last tips Rena, I will explain that is sin inverse 4 by 5 plus cos inverse 4 by 5 is pi by 2, but cos of minus pi by 2 is cos of minus theta plus cos theta itself only. Okay, right secant square cot inverse of of plus cosecant square of tan inverse 1 by 3 equals to. Thank you Srena. What is mobile? What is mobile? First option is 5, second option is 10, third, third option is 15, fourth option is 50, 5, 0. This is the question. Excuse my student. Varu. See, sir. Huh? Get my name, name? Mani. 
ओके मनी मनी राइट सी कैंड स्क्वायर ऑफ कॉट इनवर्स ऑफ प्लस को सी कैंड स्क्वायर ऑफ टेन वर्स वन बाय थ्री इक्वल्स टू हियर फर्स्ट लेट अस मेक ए स्ट्रेटजी टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सो कॉट इनवर्स ऑफ लेट अस चेंज इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेन द टेन इनवर्स ऑफ वन बाय थ्री लेट अस चेंज इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉट देन सी कैंड स्क्वायर ऑफ दैट इज टेन एंड को सी कैंड स्क्वायर ऑफ कॉट इनवर्स इजली वी कैन सॉल्व इट ओके सो नाउ सो वी हैव द फॉर्मूला सी द कॉट इनवर्स वन बाय एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन इनवर्स एक्स यू रिमेंबर दिस वन ऑलरेडी एस्टडे वी हैव स्टडीड इन द सिमिलर पैटर्न द टेन इनवर्स ऑफ वन बाय एक्स रेसिप्रोकल इक्वल्स टू हियर कॉट इनवर्स एक्स but one condition need to be satisfied here x does not equal to 0 so now the given expression can be written as given expression can be written as secant square of the cot inverse of we can write tan inverse 2 plus the cosecant square of the tan inverse 1 by 3 we can write cot inverse 3 you you may have one doubt in your mind why should we write like this because we have secant square theta we can write in terms of tan cosecant square theta we can write in terms of uh, cot that formula also i will repeat it for your sake for example this is secant square say a secant square a is equal to we can write 1 plus tan square a whereas cosecant square b for example say this is b say for example this is a this is b cosecant square b is equal to 1 plus cot square b so to apply like this so now this secant square a we can write 1 plus tan square of tan inverse 2 am i correct plus this equals to 1 plus cot to square of cot inverse 3 very interesting tan in tan of tan inverse 2 is 2 2 square is 4 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus cot of cot inverse 3 is 3 3 square is 9 so this equal to 10 14 15 yes absolutely correct you are 15 15 Raju welcome 15 right this is very very important question for M set for E set for I set or any even Ed set any entrance examination this question actually so many times appeared it is very very important problem I think you may be getting some technical problem is there okay so here is screen is clarity itself only we have the network is working here here we don't have any problem i think problem is with your smartphones or tvs and etc please check your phones mobile data ah uh, yes so mr abhi lokesh is given the suggestion keep the quality in 360 or 480 you will get clearly very good very good lokesh please any technical suggestion is there please give it so instead of chatting unnecessarily you give any technical support please give it so that other viewers may not get any trouble thank you for giving abhi thank you thank you sushila so now the eighth question sin of 2 sin inverse 3 by 5 equals to 
फर्स्ट ऑप्शन ट्वेंटी फोर बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज ट्वेल्व बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्ड ऑप्शन दिस इज फोर्टी एट बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर्थ ऑप्शन वी हैव सिक्स बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दट मीन्स इवन दो इट इज ए इनवर्स ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन वी नीड टू अप्लाई इवन मल्टीपल सब मल्टीपल एंगल्स कॉन्सेप्ट एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इवन Okay, twenty-four by twenty-five. You got it. Okay. Sine of two sine inverse three by five. Here, for example, let us make a plan. Sine inverse three by five is equal to theta. This seems to be rather in the form of sine two theta. So, sine two theta means multiple sub multiple angles. We have two sine theta cos theta. That's why already. we will be getting the sin theta value we need to find out cos theta that's all then this problem can be solved okay now the solution let us say this sin inverse 3 by 5 equals to theta That implies sine theta equals to three by five. Okay. So now draw a triangle. This is a problem actually to draw the triangle here. This is a right angle triangle. Say ABC. For example, this is theta. Sine theta is equal to three. This will be five. This will be four. so now the given expression becomes given expression that is sin of 2 sin inverse 3 by 5 the 3 by 5 sin inverse 3 by 5 is being replaced by theta so we have sin 2 theta already sin 2 theta we have discussed 2 sin theta cos theta so let us substitute sin theta and cos theta values from this triangle already sin theta is known 2 multiplied by 3 by 5 and cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so 4 by 5 this equal to 4 3 are 12 12 into 2 24 upon 25 24 by 25 so first option is the right option okay cos 37 degrees is equal to 4 pi narla venkateshwar lu you are wonderful that is cos 37 is 4 pi by i could remember in physics we have actually umbrella problem in umbrella problem we can use that cot is cos 37 even i could remember the physics concepts also in this physics concept generally whenever 4 by 5 is there we need to use cos 37 okay thank you thank you Yes, sir. Use uh, two sine inverse uh, uh, two sine inverse x formula. Yes, you can use sine inverse of uh, two sine inverse two root of one minus x square. You can make use of that formula also. No problem. No problem. So now the ninth question. cos inverse of cos inverse of 2 cos inverse 7 by 
7 by 25 equals to first option 527 by 625 second option minus 527 by 625 third option pi minus 527 by 625 fourth option 24 by 25 so let us check it right so cos inverse of 2 cos inverse ok sorry one minute this might be cos sorry let us check the question this is cos I might have written wrong ok umbrella problem in physics actually you have vectors you have that one that one ok resolution of the vectors and next cos of 2 cos inverse 7 by 25 here also the previous uh, the concept need to be applied let us say this cos inverse 7 by 25 equals to theta so now we can find out uh, circular trigonometric function that is cos theta whose value is 7 by 25 so now the triangle let us construct this is so you need not require directly you can solve it now leave it now if it is necessary let us do it otherwise keep it up so now the given expression we can write cos of this 2 theta we can write this cos 2 theta we can write 2 cos square theta minus 1 this is a formula so that is equal to 2 into instead of cos theta you can substitute that value this value 7 by 25 whole square and minus 1 so 2 multiplied by 49 by 625 am i correct and minus 1 let us take the lcm that is 625 49 into 2 is 98 625 into 1 minus 625 so we need to subtract 98 from 625 625 minus 98 so how much we will be getting 7 ok this will be how much is 2 and 5 but minus this equal to minus 527 by 625 that means second option is the right option Narla Venkateshwarlu ok you are absolutely correct right Sreya Nara Chakonda minus 527 check it because 98 minus 625 minus 625 plus 98 ok right oh everybody everybody please tell to Deepika madam to explain chemistry like you sir who is Deepika madam I do not have the idea ok um, Bilvika Sudha Sreyana ah, Sreyana absolutely correct thank you thank you now the tenth problem now 10th problem ok let us sit, sit comfortably wait
anyone tell me when is chemistry class okay next if x plus 1 by x equal to 2 the principal value of the principal value of value of sin inverse x is this is the question yes yes so first option is pi by 4 second option is pi by 2 third option is pi fourth option is 3 pi by 2 Okay, now, the x plus 1 by x is equal to 2, the principal value of sin inverse x need to find out. Okay. So, that means, first with the help of this equation, we need to find out x value, just substitute it. So, now the solution here x plus 1 by x is equal to 2, take x LCM x square plus 1 is equal to 2 cross multiplication x square plus 1 is equal to 2 x and bring 2 x this side left, left hand side we get x square minus 2 x plus 1 equals to 0. Just observe the left hand side left hand side is a perfect square. So, uh, now, this we can write x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. That means, x minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. So, now we need to find out the given expression value. See, the given expression is equal to, we have sin inverse x. So, that means, here put x is equal to 1. So, we get sin inverse 1 sin inverse 1 is nothing but 90 degrees pi by 2. So, second option is the right option. Okay. Right. So now M set on limits of the thirteenth question is there problems or not? If there send me videos. Uh, Prasad, have you joined now? Okay, right. So, eleventh question, eleventh question the numerical value the numerical value. the numerical value value of tan of 2 tan inverse 
1 by 5 minus pi by 4 minus pi by 4 is Rangasthalam Sai Prasad do not look uh, Sai Venkat actually they are disturbing ok right Shubhaprada join newly So, first option is 1, second option 0, third option is 7 by 17, fourth option is minus 7 by 17. Okay, Shubhaprada, explain your method. What is your answer? What is your method? Okay. So, that means tan inverse of 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 minus 5 by 4. So, first actually as we have ta 2 tan inverse of 1 by 5 better you need to find out 2 tan inverse of 1 by 5 value. Here see the numerical value of this one we need to find out now. So, now so first we have the formula 2 tan inverse x equals to tan inverse of 2 x by 1 minus x square. So, that means the 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 can be written as tan inverse of 2 into x by 5, 2 by 5 upon 1 minus 4 by 25. Okay. So, now this equals to tan inverse of 2 by 5 multiplied by this will be 25 upon 21 this 5 phi ja this equal to tan inverse 10 by 21 is correct now. Okay. So, next now we can find out this value now given expression. This given expression is equal to we can write tan this we can say for example, theta this will be equals to this is equal to tan inverse 10 by 21 let us say theta this is theta minus pi by 4 tan theta minus pi by 4 equals to we can write tan theta minus tan phi by 4 is 1 tan 45 and 1 plus we can write tan theta tan 45 tan theta. So, now we can substitute this tan theta value here tan theta becomes tan theta becomes 10 by 21. For example, if it is theta, tan theta equals to 10 by 21. So, if you substitute now, you get like this 10 by 21 minus 1 by 10 by 21 plus 1. So, now you need to simplify it is 1 by 25, where it is 1 by 25. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes. Let us do it now. Okay, let us check it now. This will be 2 by 5 and 1 by 5 whole square. Sorry, 1 by 25. Absolutely correct. This will be 2 by 5 into 25 by 24. So, the 5 5 ja 2 1 ja 2 12 ja this will be 5 by 12 
say this is theta this will be 5 by 12 equal to tan theta is equal to 5 by 12. So, 5 by 12 let us substitute it now. Okay. Thank you for reminding me very good. Okay, now, this is equal to 5 by 12 minus 1 by 5 by 12 plus 1 this equal to 5 minus 12 by 12, 12 12 LCM cancel this will be 5 plus 12, this is minus 7 by 17. So, that means fourth option is the right option, yes absolutely correct Venkatesh Varlu. What about money? Yes money money, where is money? Option 4, thank you. So, now let us move to the twelfth question, twelfth question, thank you, thank you, twelfth question, 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 how can we get previous M set question bank? The previous M test questions will be available in the net. Actually, you type it in the Google, you will be getting. So, plus sin inverse 3 by 5. First option tan inverse 12 by 25. Second option pi by 4, third option is pi by 2, fourth option tan inverse 25 by 12. So, just if you observe the options, so we expect that we need to write uh, the 2 tan inverse of 1 by 2 plus sin inverse of 3 by 5 in terms of tan only. So, that means better uh, for example, if you say this is A, this is B, just find tan of A plus B. The tan of A plus B is equal to tan A plus tan B okay, by 1 minus tan A tan B like that also. Uh, let us verify now or you can change this 2 tan inverse of, uh, of in terms of cos also. Let us check it now first solution. See the 2 tan inverse x is also equals to cos inverse function also cos inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square or this may be equal to sin inverse 2 x by 1 plus x square and like that also. So, first 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 write down this equal to cos inverse of so 1 minus 1 by 4 am I correct now 1 plus 1 by 4. So, this equal to cos inverse of LCM is 4, 4 minus 1 3 upon 4 plus 1 is 5, okay, cos inverse 3 by 5. So, that means now the given expression becomes, given expression becomes sin inverse 3 by 5 plus cos inverse 3 by 5. This is in the form of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x 
whose value is pi by 2. So, this is equals to pi by 2. So, now third option is the right option. Okay. Very good all of you, nice, nice, good job, good job, good job, good job. Thirteenth problem, thirteenth problem, okay Joseph, correct, Sanjarani, Prasanna, everybody, Sreyana, everybody lokesh the value of the value of cos inverse cos inverse cos inverse cos 7 pi by 6 equals to first option 7 pi by 6, second option is 5 pi by 3, third option we have 5 pi by 6. Fourth option we have 13 pi by 6. So, this we need to find out. So, generally what will you do means uh, one will be tempted to write 7 pi by 6. 7 pi by 6 may be correct or may not be correct unless we need to check it now. Understood now. So, first we need to check it now. So, the value of cos inverse of cos 7 pi by 6. See the 7 pi by 6 is equal to 7 into 30 degrees. So, that is how much? 210 degrees. Now, we need to check cos inverse of cos theta, cos inverse of cos theta. Yes, now the solution this cos inverse of cos theta equals to theta for every theta belong, belongs to 0 comma pi am i correct in between 0 to 1 let me check once again am i correct now yes that means 7 pi by 6 is 210 210 is more than 180 we need to change it so, that means uh, what we need to write now this one cos inverse of cos 7 pi by 6, 7 pi by 6 means how could you write this this one mm, ok pi plus pi by 6 you can write it now. No. You check the angles now here better this is 210 this will be how much pi by 3 into 6 300 this is 150 okay 150 so that means actually we can write uh, uh, third option is the right option okay that's we can check it now so that means this 5 pi by 6 belongs to 0 comma pi. So, this will be the right option. Okay. So, now the 14th question sin of pi by 2 minus sin inverse of 
minus root 3 by 2 equals to okay so that means actually you remember check the options in the options the value which lies between 0 comma pi is the right option okay now the first option is minus 1 by 2 second option is 1 by 2 third option is 1 by 4 fourth option is 1 by 2 root 3 so sin of pi by 2 minus sin inverse of minus root 3 by 2 okay it's clear now it's clear thank you thank you so now we have one formula sin inverse of minus x equal to minus sin inverse x that's why this can be written sin inverse of minus root 3 by 2 can be written as minus sin inverse root 3 by 2 actually sin is root 3 by 2 when it is 60 degrees am i correct now sin 60 is root 3 by 2 this is minus pi by 6 we can write now let us come to the given expression now given expression is equal to sin of 90 pi by 2 and minus sin inverse of minus root 3 by 2 so in the place of this we can replace minus pi by 6 this is sin of pi by 2 so minus into minus plus pi by 6 sin 90 plus theta is cos theta cos pi by 6 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 that is the answer sorry 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 wait 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 i did wrong this is mistake we are also mistake this will be pi by 3 60 pi by 3 so this will be again pi by 3 i need to change all the steps so, pi by 3 is 1 by 2. So, here you remember one formula sin 90 degrees plus theta sin changes to cos second quadrant sin is positive. So, we get cos theta. So, option 2 is the right option. Okay, wait for a while. now have you noted down okay thank you thank you now the 15th one 15th question so actually evening i have been discussing the limit chapter limits is also very very important chapter you need to attend it will be useful for all entrance examinations also okay now the 15th question we have sin of two tan inverse eight by fifteen equals to first option two thirty by two eighty nine second option 240 by 289 third option 
is 120 by 249, fourth option 120 by 289. First note down the question, then you think about the question. Sanjeev Kumar Knight 8 to 9, uh, others also may, may help you do not worry. Rajanagaram just you have joined first subscribe it. Madhurima, oh, thank you. So, sin of 2 tan inverse of 8 by 15, let us say this will be 2 tan inverse x form, this will be 2 tan inverse x. So, let us write this 2 tan inverse x in terms of sin inverse x, so that we can sin of sin inverse theta is equal to sin inverse sin of sin inverse x is equal to x, we can apply that one. So, that means first of all let us make a plan like this, the 2 tan inverse x is equal to in terms of sin inverse sin inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square not 1 minus x square 1 plus x square, please check it you need to remember this one. So, now 2 tan inverse 8 by 15, please help me regarding calculations. How can you tell answer before first to follow the class? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, it might be no problem, no problem, Rakshita. Let them tell the answer. We, I will solve the problem for the sake of all the viewers. Do not worry, do not worry. This is sin inverse of 2 times 8 by 15 because x is 18, 1 plus 8 by 15 whole square 64 by 225. So, now this equals to sin inverse of 16 by 15 correct numerator into reciprocal of this one you need to write that will be 225 upon 225 plus 64 is 289. This is 15 15 ja. So, now we need to multiply 16 with 15 how much you will be getting 15 6 ja 16 into 15. 30, this will be 80 correct, this will be 6 1 for 240. So, that means we have 240 by 289, answer you will expect it 240 by 289 like that. Okay, now, let us come to the given expression now, given expression in the place of this in the place of this we need to write this one. So, sin of sin inverse 240 by 289. So, we have the formula sin of sin inverse x equal to x. So, this equal to 240 by 289. So, when I have started the initial classes only, I told you very clearly this class is meant for not homogeneous class, heterogeneous class means different levels. Everybody will have the potential if they come to know the all the concepts, definitely everybody will do. Bo, uh, most of the viewers are doing wonderful job, even though you know the answer first, but let it be. So, others also you may work out, definitely you may flourish you may get success, that is our intention. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mohan Ravgaru, have you subscribed first? Deepti, 240 by 189, how is it? 189, 17 square is 289, Deepti please check it once again, yes, yes.
16th question cos of 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 thank you thank you first option is 12 by 13 second option 24 by 25 third option is 26 by 25 fourth option is 13 by 12 ramakrishna okay wonderful 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 first let's have a plan now the cos of 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 this 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 in terms of cos we need to write so that means we have the formula 2 tan inverse x equals to because this will be useful for derivatives and integration also cos inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square you are asked to integrate cos inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square just you need to integrate 2 tan inverse x only ok so let us come to this one now 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 equals to cos inverse of 1 minus 1 by 25 correct by 1 plus 1 by 25 generally the numerical calculation errors may be committed while doing the problems please do remember that is why we should be very careful. So, cos inverse of do, do not be hurry 25 minus 1 by 25 multiplied by 25 upon 25 plus 1. So, this this gets cancelled we have cos inverse of 24 by 26 and again let it be simplified it can be put in simplest form 212 ja 213 ja so that means now the let us give an expression that is cos of cos inverse 12 by 13 so this equal to 12 by 13 provided cos of cos inverse x equals to x so first option is the right option sabita tapsum have you attended the class okay okay madurima chandana bilvika okay 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 Seventeenth question tan of two tan inverse. See all the formulae will be recalled here. So three by four equals to
okay now so let me give the options first one 24 by 7 second option is 3 by 7 third option is 3 by 56 fourth option 7 by 8 7 by 8 okay oh very good very good you are very fast very fast i think most of our viewers completed the problem thank you thank you but let me explain please give me the choice to me to explain the problem also thank you so tan of 2 tan inverse 3 by 4 so that means this is in the form of 2 tan inverse x so this should be written in terms of tan inverse okay so now we have the formula 2 tan inverse x equals to tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square so now 2 tan inverse 3 by 4 3 upon 4 equals to tan inverse of 2 into 3 by 4 that is 3 by 2 by 1 minus 3 by 4 whole square 9 by 16 so let it be simplified now before giving the option how can they say option 1 sir so they might be actually practiced in uh, practice test and they might be attended so many classes in their colleges definitely they will be getting already they have might have gone undergone the coaching isn't it now but don't worry so i will discuss very clearly so i don't stop the discussion discussion will be continued because it is meant for all not for single person or like that so even after completion of this session also if anybody watch my video they are able to understand the concept okay so tan inverse of 3 by 2 multiplied by so 16 minus 9 is 7 that means 16 by 7 this is to edge tan inverse 24 by 7 so that means answer you know 24 by 7 and we listened the sars class before thank you thank you sushila okay okay now the given expression we can write here tan of tan inverse 24 by 7 so tan of tan inverse x equal to x so we have this concept with the help of this concept we can write 24 by 7 is our answer so better actually you do the same process or other process you can apply but as quick in the examination you need to be speed maintain speed and accuracy but speed should be there that must be accuracy in speed generally we came to the numerical mistakes you remember okay Yes, Ashwa, I know. You are regular viewer. Next, eighteenth one. 
sin inverse 3 by 5 plus sin inverse 5 by 13 is equal to sin inverse x then x is equal to then x is equal to first option 63 by 65 second option is 56 by 65 third option is 56 by 63 fourth option yes 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 thank you ratna kumari me to venkat i to sir oh so many regular are there right 56 by 63 16 by 63 I think generally they do the problems and they will give the uh, uh, answers. Do not worry, you will give the answers also, no problem, but I will do it. I am also, sir, okay, right. Sin inverse 3 by 5 plus sin inverse 5 by 13 equal to sin inverse x. That means, first let us write x value here. Solution x is equal to we can write sin of sin inverse 3 by 5 plus sin inverse 5 by 13. That means, this problem becomes compound angle problem only. So, this is actually A. For example, this is B. We need to find out sin of A plus B only. Sin of A plus B. What is sin of A plus B? that is sin A cos B plus cos A sin B that is all. So, let us write here sin A value sin A equals to 3 by 5 very simple now you can write cos A cos A is Pythagorean triplet 3 4 by 5 3 4 5 so 4 by 5 you can write now this is actually we have 5 by 13 this is wait now because this is 5 by 13 so now the sin b becomes 5 by 13 you need to remember pythagorean triplets also 5 12 13 pythagorean triplets cos b becomes 12 by 13 just replace here you will get the x value Yes, Prasanna, you are also regular, I know. So, now x equals to sin A, sin A means 3 by 5 multiplied by cos B is 12 by 13 plus cos A is 4 by 5 into sin B, 5 by 13. So, LCM is 65, 13 into 5, correct, 36 plus 20. So, 56 by 65. So, second option is the right option. So, video please wait, you will be getting. Pavan, please stop all this. Who is the Pavan actually? Sir, how much you are earning from monetization? Uh, I think 7000 per month. No, 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 not at, not at Pavan Kumar actually. Uh, you have been actually several times asking, I need to give the option to you. So, this is not a uh, easy task to do like this actually. Uh, you might not actually, you are not a student I think so. Uh, Pavan Kumar, you try to understand this, I have the mission. If you want actually, you can follow Indian Express. Before last year, I have given the, my interview also in that one. So, my mission is different, I have other mission. So, if you have any doubt, you can call me directly in WhatsApp group. So, I will discuss personally. Please do not chat once again like this. Money does not matter. Actually, we, you might be seeing we are uploading the total content. I am not skipping. 
I am not giving only 10 problems or 15 problems and like that. Please try to understand Pavan. Please you need to help others also. That you need to learn. <laughs> Sir, can't we write uh, uh, sin inverse of? Uh, uh, yes, we can write uh, that also that uh, we can write it, but we need to apply sin inverse of sin x is equal to x and cos inverse of cos x is equal to x. Yes, yes. Try, uh, once again, I request you all the viewers, uh, some, some of the viewers may be disturbing us because I do not disturb because I have own aim and mission that is when I started. Right. Generally, during my holidays only, I will be uploading my videos. He does not know about mine. So, my philosophy the behind the working of all these things. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you Mani, thank you. So, we need this kind of encouragement so that I will continue. You know in spite of my illness also actually I have been not been feeling well, but though as I promised you I have been continue the classes, you need to understand. So, 19th question correct, am I correct? Okay, let us come to so our session. Okay, Hare Krishna, functions I will explain definitely. Okay, right. Tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 3. equals to first option is pi by 2 second option pi by 4 third option pi by 3 fourth option pi by 6 this is the question Okay, circles everything. Okay, Sreena, actually, I need to do it. I need to. I need to do it. Okay, definitely uh, during this session we have the uh, time, the spaces time. Huh? Please give me the breathing time for me to complete all the chapters. You know, because I need to only one person, single person, to handle all the classes. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, let us come to this question tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 3. So, already yesterday we have discussed this is pi by 4 answer, but moreover I will do it. Solution the given expression tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 3. We have the formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y equals to anybody tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y providing x greater than 0, y greater than 0 and x y less than 1. Am I correct? 
you can check it. See this both are positive product of these two is less than 1. So, we can apply this is tan inverse of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3. tan inverse of LCM is 6 3 plus 2 by here also 6 6 minus 1 6 6 gets cancelled tan inverse 5 by 5 this is tan inverse 1 whose value is 45 degrees pi by 4 ok. This is the option. Okay, functions also we will discuss in detail, but moreover the most of the concepts will be covered while discussing all the chapters. Okay. Sir, are you teaching physics chemistry also? No, 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 because I do not take that much of risk now this period, because let the maths mathematics will be completed. Okay. So, now the 20 question number 20. If sin inverse x minus cos inverse x equal to pi by 6. then x equals to first option is 1 by 2 second option is root 3 by 2 third option is minus 1 by 2 fourth option is minus root 3 by 2. This is the question. So, you can verify the options also by verifying the options also you can do it. Okay, money I will take care I will see. So, sin inverse of uh, better sin inverse root 3 by 2 is 60 cos inverse 1 by 2 is 30 60 minus 30 you will be getting 30. I think second option will be the right option, but I will do it. I will do the method. Uh, what is Sunita your doubt? Once again ask it. Sunita, after your doubt only, I will explain the 20th problem. Yes, sir, verification is easy method. When does trigonometric ratio starts? Sunita, already trigonometric ratios has been completed. Completed. sin inverse x minus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 6, then we need to find out x value. Here just like solving equations only, so given this sin inverse x minus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 6, 
say equation 1 we know that from inverse trigonometric functions we have one important result sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to 90 actually these two are the equations in terms of sin inverse x and cos inverse x sir you said is wrong i am studying 12 sir i understand that sir you said is wrong i am studying 12th i understand that okay i don't have the idea about you pavan kumar if you are studying 12th class but uh, i did not expect from the student level that question that's why okay no problem uh, you understand my mission that's all so adding 1 and 2 so that means these two gets cancel we have 2 sin inverse x equal to this is actually 30 degrees this is 90 degrees 90 plus 30 120 120 means that is 2 pi by 3 so we have sin inverse x is equal to pi by 3 so, x is equal to sin pi by 3, pi by 3 is 60 degrees, sin 60 is root 3 by 2, okay. second option, tan inverse p by q plus tan inverse of q minus p by q plus p, yes absolutely correct Ambika Garu, absolutely correct you can put p is equal to 1 q is equal to you get the same answer absolutely yes yes because uh, i have my own idea i have my own strategy but you will be having your many ideas isn't it now so definitely you can follow yes is there any uh, another method means just add both sides sin inverse x plus cos inverse x that's all directly you will get it or substitution i already told you you need to substitute the options because it's a equation so 21st problem tan inverse x minus 1 by x plus 2 plus tan inverse x plus 1 by x plus 2 equal to yes yes viru welcome correct by substituting x is equal to 3 by 2 you will get it so sunita bandari it may be uh, reconnected wait for a while equals to pi by 4 then you need to find out x value first option 1 by root 2 second option plus or minus 1 by root 2 third option plus or minus 1 by root 3 fourth option 1 by root 3 this is the question yes this is minus correct so 
so that means you can apply here uh, tan inverse say like this a plus tan inverse b equals to pi by 4 means you can write tan inverse 1 this we can write a plus b by 1 minus a b equals to 1 now a plus b equals to we can write 1 minus a b now this is a and this is b substitute here then you will get the answer so now what is a x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus b x plus 1 by x plus 2 1 minus x minus 1 by x minus 2 into x plus 1 by x plus 2. So, let it be simplified now. Here LCM is x square minus 4 this is x square plus x minus 2 please check it this will be x square minus x minus 2 equals to x square minus 4 is the LCM x square minus 4 minus x square and plus 1 so this this gets cancelled so now we have x x gets cancelled we have 2 x square minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 equals to x square x square gets cancelled we have minus 3 2 x square is equal to 4 minus 3 1 x square is equal to 1 by 2 x is equal to plus r minus 1 by root 2 second option ok Ambika, definitely I will reply if I see the because I generally I used to concentrate on the screen, on the slate, on the material that means whatever prepared the material three times on charting at a time simultaneously I need to concentrate on four things. Right. What is the question number? Anybody? help me what is the question number question number question number please anybody okay thank you thank you thank you thank you 20 second 20 second so tan inverse of Two x by x square minus one plus cos inverse of x square minus one by x square plus one equals to two pi by three. then x equals to what is the value of x thank you Lokesh thank you Madhurima Sai Venkat in previous sum last second step plus 2 into 21 I will check it I will check it ok so the first option is 
2 minus root 3. Second option root 3 minus root 2. Third option is 2 plus root 3. Fourth option is root 3 plus root 2. So, these are the options. Okay. See now, if you observe the problem, <coughs> this is not in the form of 2 x by 1 minus x square. So, this is not in the form of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. First, we need to change. Anjana Kumari, you might have joined now. Okay, good morning. Please subscribe. Okay. So, this can be rewritten as like this now. Tan inverse of take minus common minus of 2 x by 1 minus x square, because we have the formula for tan inverse of 2 x by 1 minus x square. That is why, uh, sorry you are teaching well to understand the problems. Yes, I need to do it, that is my duty. So, cos inverse of, so minus common 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. Again, so we need to concentrate the formula tan inverse of minus x is equal to minus tan inverse x, but the cos inverse of minus x is not equal to minus cos inverse x that is pi minus cos inverse x. Please remember these two formula very, very important. Sir, ninth question from trigonometric equations. Oh, Sudha, still you could remember that question. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, this can be written minus tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square. So, this can be written using this formula. So, plus pi minus cos inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square equal to 2 pi by 3, because this is also 2 pi by 3. I have forgotten to write, no problem. This is 2 tan inverse x, this is 2 tan inverse x. So, that means we have pi minus 4 tan inverse x equal to 2 pi by 3. Okay. Now, 4 tan inverse x equals to pi minus 2 pi by 3, that is pi by 3. Tan inverse x equals to pi by 12, pi by 12 is equal to uh, equals to 15 degrees, am I correct now? So, x equal to tan 15 degrees, tan 15 degrees is equal to 2 minus root 3, this is the answer. So, first option is the right option. Again, I will do here also. So, 4 tan inverse x is equal to pi minus 2 pi by 3. This is pi by 3. Tan inverse x is equal to pi by 12, that is 15 degrees. x is equal to tan 15 degrees tan 15 degrees is equal to 2 minus root 3, this is the answer. So, this is the answer. Ratna Kumari, let them leave it, if they like definitely they will like it otherwise. So, generally they will, okay. yes I need even uh, your cooperation, 
so your support so that i will continue the classes for next 15 uh, 20 days already so far we have completed uh, eight chapters so if you give this constant encouragement definitely i will try to complete total content total concept another way also very good another way also you can do it okay okay thank you surya prakash thank you thank you sir so second year classes so second year classes are available ramakrishna uh, i have done more than uh, uh, 800 videos on first year and second year if you listen your classes we can score best marks in mc thank you hari krishna thank you i feel today class is completed very fast no 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 because uh, generally somebody disturbed me otherwise i would have start uh, more questions we might have solved no 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 sir please see 21st sum sir 21st okay i will check it i will check it i will check it generally okay 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 thank you yes chintu i have done more than 800 videos the most of the th th topics i have dealt on second year and first year topics you can suggest your juniors also so if they wish if they continue otherwise need not i don't force them <laughs> go for sri thank you go for sri okay okay you come in the evening right definitely i will explain to us thank you rakshita sir secondary classes will there yeah yeah definitely i have the main idea to start uh, je mains also but definitely i will start in the month of june the classes okay ashwaridi thank you thank you so thank you all the best bye bye see you